Okay, we are back. I'm coming in on the side porch. There's a bad, um, bad hump right there. I don't know if that's just where that's not pulled down tight or what, but, um, I'm coming in on the side porch. That's where the lock box was. This looks like this could have been, uh, maybe an addition at some point or may have been part of the porch they closed in. That's probably more like it. Um, not really sure why they would have done that unless they just need some office space or something like that. But um, we'll uh, we'll walk through and see what we can find. There's some step ups and downs, so that I'm pretty sure this was part of that original porch. Uh, we're coming into the coming into the main living area of the home. Seems as though the main body of the house is actually a uh, is log which I like. Um, just not sure why they, looks like it may have had a porch all the way around it at some point because that stepped down as well. Um, better than one. Now I'm at the very back of the house. So there's a, it's a little bit of a circuitous step. So there's your, it's raining down here too, by the way, our sprinkling. So this room is not very big, but it would probably accommodate a single. Um, not sure if this is just where the sheetrock tape is turning loose or, or what that is right there. Uh, paint is about like a DIY paint job would be. It could use, um, use a little bit of work, but it's not horrible. Uh, this bedroom's a little bit bigger. Um, appears to have uh, decent sized closets. I would call this bedroom maybe um, a 10 by 10 and a half. There's a little bit of a crown on that floor, which is not uncommon in a, in a crawl space floor. You have a bath here. That is a uh, paneling product of some kind. I don't know if it's waterproof or not. It shows some, show some damage right there. Um, you have a shower and a vanity. I mean, in, inside so far doesn't look bad. Um, I mean, just just some stuff that could still you know stand to be done to it. Here's the little side porch where I hesitated outside and. Uh, just around the corner and looked at looked at the uh at the stone that was piled up there's the neighbor's house i'd say it's probably 75 yards if i had to guess across there then you have a coat closet here and a water access to that shower i do like that um i'm sorry i'm kind of hunting the lights as we go. Appears this is the laundry. So it's a laundry closet. It's not really a laundry room. Um, some of the plumbing looks a little undersized. Uh, all of this is real undersized plumbing. I'm not real sure why they would have done that. I'm not crazy about that electrical connection down there at the bottom right down here. Um, you can tell that there's been some, we'll call it updating over time. Um, I love this spot. Looks like they originally built it for a, for a, um, a wood stove and it didn't ever get put in. It looks like, or maybe, a, maybe something like that. Uh, but the plans didn't work out to where they could do it apparently. Not sure what's above it. That may be what caused it. Here's a, here's the kitchen. The kitchen actually looks pretty decent. Cabinets are in good, decent shape. Uh, we'll see why this is dropped. I'm sure there's probably some kind of uh, electrical or plumbing in that section right there. Um, we're going to come in here and see if we can find a, a light. There we go. Um, that's your living space. It's 
That's what it looks like when you walk in the front door. Um, love the beams. I, lo I like all the rustic feel to the place. Let's go check out the, the stairs. These videos are certainly not production videos. They're just here to be, you know, to kind of help you see what I see as I go through here. Uh, sometimes we find lights and sometimes we don't. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Look at there. Now I feel like I can find everything. So this is just kind of a big open area built into the gable of the roof. It's kind of a cool space. I don't really know what you do with it. There's a full bath up here. Would be a neat spot to hang out and, and uh, maybe have an office up here or something like that. I'm sorry, I was looking at the spacing on the on the uh, rafters. Yeah, there's a lot of DIY work in this. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's why it's uh, why I keep pausing is to understand why they did what they did. There we go. Now I'm blinded. Blinded by the light. Like I don't understand why you put a door here and a door here when that could have been some pretty cool closet space linen closet or something like that i don't not sure i get that um you know they use i mean it's certainly not been done in such a way that and that's an absolute no-no you don't caulk in around the bottom of a commode It'll hold the moisture in and rot the floor if it ever gets a wax seal leak. Um, it, it's just a lot of DIY mistakes in this place and uh, nothing that I see that really just, you know, would concern me as far as the overall structure goes. Um, it get, certainly gives it a rustic feel. It feels like a pretty solid home. Um, I questioned some of the spacing on the, on that. That's certainly over 24 inches, which it may be load beam engineered to handle that, but I, I just don't know. Um, I like the dormers that they're active dormers and, and they actually bring in light. I, I mean, honestly, it's a pretty cool place. Um, if you don't mind the, you know, the DYI feel, uh, there is a, I won't call it a bedroom because there's not really a closet up here, but there is space up here that's uh, very usable. Um, I don't see any um, air conditioning up here. So what you're getting up here is coming from downstairs. So they wouldn't technically call this heated and cooled space. And I didn't figure out why they had that over there. I couldn't really tell from upstairs why they have these two beams boxed in down here. Um, not real sure, to be honest with you. Um, so, I don't know. I'm sorry. I kind of talk to myself when I go through these things to, to say, well, what is that? What is that? And... I forget I'm talking to people trying to tell them about a piece of property. So, um, listen, thank you for the opportunity to show you this little house. It's cute. It is definitely, you know, it's like right here. I can, you know, it's probably same distance as a door. Um, the floor is a little bit up and down. I don't think it's really anything major. It is a log house. Um, and log houses do tend to have more maintenance than, than traditionally built structures. Um, and, and it's not that it's, if you do the maintenance, it's not that much, but if you defer the maintenance, it can, it can get away from you is basically the, when people talk about maintenance on the log house, 
So um, that's the place, guys. That's, uh, that's the house, and uh, I'll get this uploaded, and I hope you enjoyed the video.